Well, it's been a month now since we started. I thought you might like to see the progress. <clears throat> so anyway, we got all the sheathing on, zip wall systems. You don't have to use a vapor barrier on this stuff. You just have to tape all the seams and corners and save the step. And then we've got some wiring done in here. Get all the rough wiring in. Got all the uh, boxes in, all the sconce boxes in, all the outlet boxes, switch boxes. We've got rough ends for track lighting up on the ceiling here. Here and here will be track lighting. Uh, we've got sconces on each side of the built-in couch that's going to go here. We've got some bullet lights going in this lid once I get the siding on there. So the next step is pretty much insulating and uh, getting some interior walls built. Like over here, we've got a pocket door going in to conserve space in the bathroom, so it's going to go all the way over to here. And that's coming uh, next Friday. Shower stall in here, 36 by 36 shower stall with solid material walls and uh, Bronze, or no, this is going to be a nickel finished glass door, quarter inch glass. Here we're going to have the composting toilet, but I did put in the flange just in case people don't want a composting toilet and don't want the hassle. You can still have a flush toilet option. All the plumbing's in the floor. The floor's been all insulated and been um, screwed down. So uh, here we got the drain for the washer dryer combo coming up here in this cabinet. Over here will be the sink. We got hot and cold and uh, drain for the sink. Here's going to be a 24 inch range. And that's the box for the range with the range hood there. And we've also got a small sink unit for in here in the bathroom. Be, uh, have a little bit of cabinetry underneath it. There's going to be a door here that accesses into the garage. There's going to be a little garage on the back with a shed roof coming off about like this. And the water heater is going to be here on this side. There'll be a partition wall. This will all be insulated. And on the other side is a big enough garage to hang a couple of bikes and your flexible sewer line for hooking up to RV spots and and uh, barbecue, and it's going to go out there probably a good 24 inches, so it's going to stick out the back about that far, and it's going to have a metal shed roof on it with the same siding and everything that it's going to be on the rest of the house. We have the 24 inch refrigerator right here, it'll be a 5 foot high unit, about 12 cubic feet. And then a hanging closet here. And here's going to be the stairway with some slab wood steps up to the upper loft, the sleeping loft, which will have a couple of sconces up there. I just have a temporary floor in there right now. But and then as you can see, we got the hangers on the end of the joists, as well as the top of the joists for those extra hurricane strap nights. <laughs> and uh, that's about it for one month's work, and uh, we'll keep you posted what's next.